Welcome everyone to what I call the Definitive Edition Guide to the 2016 port of Seven Days to Die, aka the PS4 and Xbox One versions. And this is going to be part one of the series. And I'm going to go over with you today your basics of tools and their skills and also the basics of building. So, your basic tools are the stone axe, the stone shovel, and they, uh, these can, can go into several parts. There's also Taza's stone axe, which if you find it in a uh, treasure uh, chest uh, uh, from a specific POI in the plains biome, and these are very rare to find, but this is fair to include. So, stone axe. It, can, it goes into three different kind of trees of tools, I'll call them. It's kind of the do-it-all tool. It can upgrade, like, the wrench, the claw hammer, and the nail gun can. It can mine stone and metal, just like it, the and the pickaxes, the iron pickaxe and steel pickaxe. And do you know, wood cutting, just like the iron fire axe and steel fire axe. The stone shovel can just do the shoveling just like the iron shovel and steel shovel, but the stone axe and stone shovel are both less efficient. Now, oh, one thing that is uh, key with the uh, stone axe and Taza's stone axe is uh, that Taza's stone axe is very special. It'll do a lot more damage to a block, so. Let me just show you on this uh, pine tree over here. And these are affected by your construction tool skills. Your construction tool skills are here. You get a maximum bonus of plus 100% block damage uh, when you're maxed out. And mine is maxed out for the sake of the video. And then, uh, so that'll give you various upgrades. And But let's see what the regular stone axe does. So, 952, down to 890, that's about 62 damage. Alright, let's take it to another tree, you know, with Taza's. So, right. You can see 951 out of 1200, that is uh, 249 damage out of Taza's stone axe. And keep in mind, I am using level 600 tools. But for this series of videos, I will be using level 600 stuff. It may not seem fair, but I am trying to use a level playing field for everything. And so you can see how Taza's stone axe is very effective. The stone axe can do upgrades to just like any old tool, but on a wood frame, it takes four up, four hits. A cobblestone frame, like when you upgrade into cobblestone, it'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 hits, hit to upgrade that. And I believe it is the same for all the tiers, including metal. Yes, it is. So, you know, 4 hits for all that, the even concrete. And I believe it's even uh, for for steel upgrades. I know I'm going over this advanced stuff a, a little bit, but um, bear with me, so just grab a reinforced concrete block. Yeah, even four. All the way. The only exception is uh, cobblestone that takes the longest there. So, basically, you get with your... then you go up to and you're uh, upgrading his stuff. Let me just put my. Oop. Let me just pick that back up. Put, put that back. The wrench is uh, pretty good. It can do upgrades in about two hits for most everything. Let's see. Grab my wrench real quick. Yeah, two and two hits for most stuff, and eat. 
and it's one thing is like with the hammer grab the hammer out real quick the hammer can do one hit upgrades but the animation is slow and so the wrench is uh, actually more efficient let me show you here with cobblestone show the hammer off first it takes five hits now you know, let's uh, show off the hammer the wrench the wrench can do about the same amount of hits as the uh, as the uh, stone axe uh, but and that's what that's one little special thing is and the wrench can do also uh, wrenching stuff so let me just show that off for you like yo just come over to this uh, gas pump just let me just take this out it'll do this special animation every time you're doing that special animation you are kind of salvaging stuff with the wrench with your upgrade tool, uh, your max tier is the nail gun. So let me just put the wrench and the claw hammer back. There we go. And grab the nail gun. The nail gun will is the fastest upgrading tool. Very quick. It is also the same case for the for the cobblestone. And if you're not careful, it will upgrade really quick. So, all that being said, let's go into your your mining tools. You got the uh, the pickaxes, the, the iron pickaxe and the uh, steel pickaxe. Put the ties of stone axe back. And you also got the the, f the fire axes, the old uh, iron and steel, and we got the shovel and the steel shovel. Doing a little bit of a test here, so let's see how much this you know, iron shovel does. So about, it does about half the, the damage. About we'll just say about 123 damage out of 250. Let's see what steel does. It takes out about, I want to say, 84 damage. So it two hits a block. Keep in mind with, with my skills here, I am not using any Meyer 69er. That's a two hit. So, let's see. Grab you a pickaxe and we'll see how much the iron pickaxe kind of does and I need to remind you that I am using level 600 this is just for very even playing field just to keep it all evened up so yeah we're doing about 302 to 236 that would be about 66 damage in stock so see how much the pickaxe does Doing 150 damage flat. That is with no minor 69er, and that is at a level 16 might tools. Let's go to the fire axes. That's about 67 damage, so not too bad out of the uh, iron fire axe. And you're doing 101 damage flat with the and steel fire axe with hmm, my skills ascend. So that's not too bad at all. And now, let's go over your skills. The skills are related to your tools. They are... You have construction tools, which is related to upgrading, also doing damage. You do damage with the stone axe, or even Taza stone axe, or with your wrench, or your hammer. And even your nail gun. The nail gun actually can do damage. It, not many people use it as a ranged weapon, but you can. All you need is nails. So, and then you got your mine tools, which means the shovels, the fire axes, and the pickaxes. These all fall into uh, mining tools. And same goes with the stone shovel here. Yeah. 
Yep, the, the stone shovel's right here. The stone shovel is your primitive uh, version, does the least amount of damage. Iron shovel is your intermediate, and then steel shovel is your advance. The iron fire axe is your intermediate up from the stone axe. The steel uh, axe is uh, your advanced level. Iron pick is uh, pi iron pickaxe is your intermediate, and steel pickaxe is advanced for pickaxes. And uh, so then you go into and you can further advance your damage with uh, mining tools with uh, Meyer 69er. The uh, this does uh, for every ring that you pump into it, it will give you plus 20% block damage and minus 10% stamina degradation. Meaning you use 10% less stamina. So let's just say, for example, your tool, your shovel costs like 100 stamina. So it, and the first rank of this would just take uh, make you only use 90 stamina, for example. And if you do 100 damage with your tool, then you would be doing 120 damage with it. So plus 20% for every rank here and all that. And then, last but not least, you got tool smithing. I maxed it out for the sake of my testing uh, with this, but it is at level 100 of uh, 100, and you'll see here that your crafting time goes down by a f a half, 50%. And then your max crafting quality is level 500. The level 500 uh, limit is there to kind of incentivize uh, doing merging with a workbench. And we'll get into that in just a second. Repair time is uh, reduced by 75%. So let's just say like it takes four seconds to repair something. Now you'll only be down to 1% at max level. And then you get the uh, repair amount, which uh, I think it gives you uh, more repair for your uh, your higher level. And you only lose about 2% oh, of your quality level. So, like, let's just say, like, you have a level 100 tool. And you repair it, that means it would probably be, like, go down by, like, two levels. But usually at that point, you would not be losing quality anymore. At certain points, you will not be losing quality. The basics of building. Let's talk about this. So you have your plain run-of-the-mill uh, wood frames. And you also got cobblestone frames. If you're experienced with cobblestone, I recommend building your horde base out of this. It is a very good point. If you don't want to build frames, you can start out with your flagstone blocks. And actually, I might grab the wrong flagstone block, but this will immediately upgrade to cobblestone, then go to concrete. I accidentally upgraded too far, and then it'll go to reinforced concrete. So that's uh, that's pretty uh, good for your if you're more experienced, but if you only really know wood frames, you just upgrade the wood, reinforce wood, iron reinforce wood. Then you go to first level scrap iron, second level, and then you go to regular concrete, then you go to reinforced concrete. So basically you use, uh, you go from wood to, to iron, and then you go up to concrete as opposed to where if you were to upgrade from flagstone you would actually go from flagstone which takes cobblestone rocks to build which is only some some clay and some rocks and then you would only uh, go up to and then you would just go to regular concrete and then reinforce concrete this is more resource efficient then or if you just really don't worry about it, it's... then you can just go straight to concrete with a rebar frame. You can find these in work sift, and working sift tools, you can make them in your forge. They're they're pretty good, but if you just want to go straight to concrete. 
there's a problem with that. If you do the wood frame route, you would just go to... You would just go to... You would be going up the uh, going up the wood path through iron, and then through concrete. And uh, the thing uh, about this game is, if you just go straight to concrete, you're not getting the full benefits. Like the block here would just destroy. It's like if you destroy this uh, down to your uh, well, like destroy these, so you would just uh, go back down to the previous level, like old concrete. Let me just show this here. Well, usually it would do that, so... Like... Let me just show it off here with this block. Just give it a second. You can also upgrade to scrap iron and do the concrete route that way. See, it'll just break down to the old level. With your... With your building, let me just show the... So, I just made quality 500, I can't make any more uh, quality level than that. So you come into a workbench, and then you just click them into the combine. Combining is a very good way to increase quality levels, but I do not recommend it for lower quality stuff. Like if you're learning, merging like two level ones, you'll probably maybe get like three levels out of it. If you merge two level 500s together, you get a uh, total increase of 525, 25 levels, and so. But yeah, I think that covers just about it for the the tools and the basics of building and Seven Days to Die. It's more advanced than that, but you know, and great for a uh, you know starter and guide to this series and you know if you're new playing to the game so i hope you enjoy and and subscribe and and i'll catch you in the next episode of this series